Welcome to Mars on Earth. We just pulled up to Wadi Rum now after coming from Petra, which was insane. Check out that video. Basically, we got in, you just park in the Wadi Rum village, wherever your camp is, and then someone picks you up from there because you can't take your own car. And they take you in a 4x4 vehicle out into the desert. And we just pulled up into our camp, and it's honestly so insane. Like, the landscape here is crazy. The sand is just red. It just looks like Mars. Like, that's all I can say. Like, it looks insane here. So, throughout the video, I'm gonna be doing a little side by side like this because because I actually felt really sick when we were there and I actually got food poisoning earlier on in Jordan. So basically at times when I wasn't able to talk because my throat hurts so much, I'll just be doing a recording like this to tell you guys what the honest experience was like. Don't recommend wearing shoes here because they get really, really red from the sand and it takes so long to clean them out after. And this is our little hut. Just got two windows, a bed, and that's it. It gets really cold in the desert. It's nice to get some tea. Really hot tea. These views are actually just insane though. Seeing all these stars is honestly incredible. But it's time to go to sleep. And tomorrow we're gonna be doing a full day tour around this beautiful place. It's the start of the day now. Honestly, it gets so cold at night. We slept with like two layers, four thick blankets. We're still cold, which tells you how cold it does get in the desert. And these huts don't really help with the warmth. They're actually colder than outside, I'm pretty sure. We had a pretty quick breakfast here, just some pitas and some za'atar. Time to start the Jeep tour. Spot on the tour is Lawrence Spring. And there's also some encryptions here. Lawrence Spring is all right. You can do a hike if you want, but like at the top, there's not much water. In Wadi Rum, there's about 25,000 rock carvings and 20,000 inscriptions, which all date back to the latest fourth century BC. Who knew it was harder to climb up sand than rocks? It's crazy. Kazali Canyon. They have so many inscriptions in there and basically what made this spot so important, they believed it was holy since it's the spot the desert collected water for them to drink. So this canyon was actually regarded as holy land. After that, we just went to a nice little chill lookout spot. They gave us some tea and we got to do some hikes there as well. I thought we were leaving Canada, but it's all right here still. Now we're at the location where two movies were filmed. This is The Martian and Lawrence of Arabia. And you can just see the views are incredible from here. You can see why they filmed it. It's honestly so amazing. A lot of The Martian was actually filmed in Hungary though. And they brought some of the sand from here and they brought it to there to do a lot of the filming. So it's pretty cool. Matt Damon actually filmed the movie here. thing is humans have lived here for about 12,000 years already and they've inhabited this place and just made food in the ground like heated it up in the ground and then lots of tea they love their tea hey, hey. and for lunch we ate on this little blanket just in the middle of the desert we had some tuna mixed in with some veggies it wasn't that good and I'm pretty sure Katya got food poisoning from this too but we'll talk more about that later to speed up this video times two after lunch we got to do some sandboarding which was such a fun experience i felt so sick at that point but it was still so much fun it was so cool to do and we're gonna be going to dubai later and doing some sandboarding there so really excited for that the best way to end 
A Jeep tour in the desert is with a beautiful sunset. Honestly, this desert tour was so amazing. We got to see so many different sites, have traditional Bedouin food, and just meet so many people. It was such an amazing experience, and I would recommend it to anyone coming to Wadi Rum. And the landscape here is just insane. Like everywhere you look, incredible. While Wadi Rum is such a great time, I'm sure we would have had a much better experience if I wasn't so sick. The one thing I would say about it though is don't cheap out on the camp you're going to because we did just find the cheapest one and I think your experience is just as good as how good your camp is. We are excited to try some Zarb which is just a traditional Bedouin food that's usually cooked at the camps here. We are also just excited to have a fire, chat with some people and unfortunately none of that happened here at this camp and even though our cabin had four blankets we were still really cold at night so I would definitely recommend booking a place that you know for sure is good so that you have the best experience possible basically you just get what you pay for here and Katya started feeling sick a few days later and we figured it out that it was just from the food we had at this camp that little lunch we had with the tuna and the veggies so just make sure you book a really good camp I want to thank you so much for watching this video please like it if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out subscribe to get to watch some more future videos and I'll see you again in the next one.